Throughout video game history, we saw games push the boundaries and limits of what you could get away with in the landscape of virtual world after another. In the midst of all this is the ESRB, the Entertainment Rating Software Board, who act as the MPAA for video games. E is your G, E10 is your PG, T is your PG13, M is your R. But then there's lesser known ratings, the EC rating, early childhood, used mostly for educational games and kiddie stuff like Winnie the Pooh, Blue's Clues, Dora the Explorer, all that pizzazz. There exists another rating that is the exact opposite of this, introducing AO, adults only, the equivalent to NC-17. This rating has barely been used and stores have outright banned AO rated games from being sold, including Walmart and Target and GameStop. Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo also outright despise them and disqualify them from being sold on their digital stores too. These games apparently push the boundaries so high that it's outright too much for an M rating. Most of these AO rated games are pornographic in nature and rely mostly on sexual content. Seeing how going over those would just get stale, we're going to stick to the best of the best associated with the AO rating. Most of the time, the big games that do get an AO rating end up choosing to edit and censor more of the graphic content in order to maintain an M rating to be able to sell it to stores. Examples being Manhunt 2 from Rockstar Games. This is an outright brutal stealth game that allows you to execute other people. This game was initially slapped with the AO rating as well as the BBFC in the UK outright refusing to rate the game at all. The game in this form involved a lot more executions and weapons to do so, including a scene involving a man's precious pair. I'll circle around to get this video monetized. In response to this, Rockstar has sent in an edited version in which many of the executions are now blurred out in black and white, and many of the execution weapons were now removed. With all that out of the way, the game was granted an M rating and released to consoles the following October. However, this wouldn't stop hackers from finding ways to remove the blur effects they had to insert to avoid the original AO rating. Big time senators such as Hillary Clinton wrote a letter to the ESRB outright asking for the game to be changed back to the AO rating. The ESRB wouldn't budge though, keeping the M rating in spite of these pissed off senators and parents who didn't know any better. Speaking of Rockstar, we all know about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the classic hood action game that continues to be mean to this day. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large. This game at one point was at the height of controversy of their own. This story is common knowledge to OG fans by now, but in case you don't know if you've been living under a rock, some files were hidden in the game and disabled under names like Saxon, BJ's. Having found these files by looking into the PS2 version, this hacker pledged to hack these files to be usable once a PC version was available, as it would be very difficult to do with the PS2 version. Sure enough, once the PC version was out, he went right into work and the mod would soon be known as Hot Coffee. These files basically unlocked an extra minigame at the end of when you take CJ on a date with somebody. Once it's over, she would invite you in for <clears throat> coffee. In the original unmodified version, you can clearly hear from the outside, they're doing more than just coffee. The Hot Coffee mod reveals a sex minigame where CJ, cruelly animated, is doing things I can't show on YouTube. The mod caught on like wildfire, gathering over 1 million downloads in a month. With this mod going viral, the ESRB took action and slapped the game with the AO rating, forcing stores to ban the game from retail sale. As it turns out, Rockstar had initially planned for this game to push the boundaries and that these files were not some hot hot funny business made by some jokesters, this was really going to go all the way. They played it safe however, and given the deadlines they had to release the game, they couldn't just outright remove the files as it would dramatically impact how it operated. So instead they were hidden and modders took action to uncover them and it's been an urban legend ever since. After the AO rating, Rockstar decided to patch the game without any ability to access said scenes and was changed back to the M rating. If you have a PS2 disc that says 2nd edition at the bottom of the M rating, that's the edited version you're holding. Another AO rated game I want to talk about is Thrill Kill, which was meant to be about a group of people who get sent to hell and are forced by the goddess of secrets to fight to the death to have a chance to live again. It was marketed as the first 4 player 3D fighting game, I, I would have been awesome I bet. See Mac McMuscle's What Happened video for more info, it goes more in depth about it. Anyway, the game was all set to release until EA bought the rights to the game and decided to cancel its release due to how graphic it was. Well damn, even before they were known for their 24-7 cycle of diarrhea, they treated games like they were nothing. But that's just the AO rated games that didn't get away with being rated AO. What about the ones that stuck with the rating and aren't just sexual content, but rather ones with actual substance or at least something close to it? All those Japanese visual novels don't even count because they don't bother sending many of those to the ESRB. Plus, there's like a million of them next to those cheaply made sexual themed games made for either cheap thrills or shock value. 
But oh wait, there actually is one visual novel with the AO rating, F, A Fairy Tale of the Two. This game was released years earlier in Japan, but was sent randomly to the ESRB in 2014 in an attempt to obtain a hard copy of the game in the US. Being the degenerate weeb that I am, high school DXD fan over here, this, this seems to be right up my alley. One thing I'd like to point out, the opening intro to the game was animated by none other than Makoto Shinkai, director of Your Name, Weathering With You, and Suzume, that one about a girl making love with a chair or something. Oh my god! Pretty cool! There is also an anime with two scenes licensed by Sentai Filmworks, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. The one I want to talk about the most though is Hatred. The game came out of nowhere with a trailer that is the literal definition of I'm 14 and this is deep to me. It was the first- Not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. The first game from Polish developer Destructive Creations. They had made this game in response to all the politically correct games and wanted to make a game that quote unquote eschew politeness, colorfulness, and games as art. Judging by how hyped this game was, you expect that this would be the darkest, goriest, bloodiest, and outright just the most emo game you ever played. Well, to be honest, this could have easily been an end rate again. I've seen way more graphic games that got away with much more. Do you want me to talk about sadistic blood sometime? We'll go look at Sid Snap's video about it. Be sure you're not eating anything while you watch. Anyway, Hatred got a lot of attention, obviously, and it was slapped with an AO rating. It will eventually found its way to Steam, where it was temporarily removed, but later reinstated on behalf of the man himself, Gabe Newell. It has since gotten a gold following, and looking at it again, this is literally low-key school shooter simulator. I know the old age question of do video games cause violence is overplayed at this point, but the thing is, this guy isn't just doing all this killing for a logical, sympathetic reason. He ain't doing this because his wife got kidnapped, there's no revenge plot, there's no big bad supervillain to save the world from, not even a zombie apocalypse, I would have given it the M rating easily. He's just outright reenacting Columbine High School out here. This dude's outright having a bad day. Take you one down. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Overall, that's the basics of the history of the AO rating. It is seen a lot of things, and many of them not from humble beginnings. If y'all want me to talk about the NC-17 rating in a new video, please leave a comment, and please subscribe for more content. Thanks.